Imagine for a moment that a friend comes up to you in the street and asks, are you creative? What would you say? Hopefully, this time you could tell them that not only are you creative, but so is everyone else. You might also tell them that with a bit of practice, anyone can turn this natural ability into a powerful problem-solving machine. And of course, practice is the key word. We've covered a lot of things in this series. And so to wrap up, we want to give you a quick test to make sure that it has all sunk in. Ready? Here we go. Are you still carrying a notebook to capture all of your ideas? And much more importantly, are you filling up the pages with lots of thoughts, ideas and problems to solve? Hopefully, you're quite impressed with your own creative powers. Keep capturing those ideas. Next, your friend comes to you with her latest great idea, engine oil flavoured milk. How do you initially respond to her idea? Are you able to relax, listen and understand without judgment? When coming up with new ideas, are you able to separate the divergence and convergence? Have you been actively searching for potential problems that need new and useful thinking? Can you sketch out a problem-solving map to help you clarify the problem, generate some ideas, develop the best solution and implement it? Remember our dear Aunt Edna, who asks a bunch of questions about things you normally don't think about? Have you been able to shift your perspective to think like Aunt Edna? To ask interesting questions about everyday things? Do you remember to collect facts, feelings and hunches and unanswered questions before you define a problem? Have you started to state your problems as questions? Using phrases like how to, how might I or in what ways might I? When someone approaches you with a problem, do you ask the questions why and what is stopping you to help clarify what the real problem is? Are you able to identify what type of problem you're dealing with, be it an action problem, a planning problem or an invention problem? Do you know what tools you would need for each type of problem? Do you remember what SCAMPA stands for? Have you been organising your brilliant ideas by using hits and putting them into categories? Do you remember the prioritisation tool called Card Sort that helps you select the best ideas? Have you been able to positively evaluate and strengthen an idea using PPCO? When given a planning problem, do you know how to create an action plan? Finally, are you remembering to think about the traffic lights associated with your potential solutions? OK, how do you think you did? If there are any questions you're not sure about, then you might like to spend a few minutes reviewing the programs or the workbook. And apart from that, all that is left is for us to thank you for your attention and to encourage you to tell other people about the magic of creative problem solving. Thanks for listening.